this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. I am back this afternoon with my next craft fair um, item. And I have made these in the past. Um, the last time I made these, I made a video in 2018. And I started thinking the other day, whenever I showed that I purchased these at Home Goods, no, TJ Maxx, and I thought these would be so cute on the little dogs. And I'm like, you know, I haven't made these in a long time. I used to make them for my craft fair and they sold like hotcakes. And so I sold them like two years in a row and every time they sold out. So I thought I would make some this year. I haven't made any since 2018 or 19. So I decided I'm going to bring these back today. Um, and this year for my craft fair. So anyway, I've already got one sewed up here. All I got to do is stuff it and then stitch it closed and put eyes on it and just kind of put an embellishment on it. Um, but I thought I will do a bunch like in, like in a uh, Valentine type prints or whatever, or maybe pinks or whatever, because after Christmas comes Valentine's very fast. And these are great for Christmas too. They can be for any, I've made them in birthday print. I've made them in all kinds of prints, but I think I'm going to do like some more like, like Valentine-y or pink prints. So I'm gonna do one in this print. I'm gonna do one in this print. I love this. I'm gonna also do a little flowery one in this print and probably maybe a couple of more. I think maybe I'll do like 10. Um, it's going to take me a little time to get them sewed up, but I thought I would do a refresher course and show you guys how I created this. So I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side. Now, this was not my original idea. In 2018, I came across Andrea over on SoSpire.com, and she is the one that created the pattern. So I've kept the pattern. As you see, it's kind of worn out. <laughs> Um, I need to like trace it off again and just that way I've got a good copy. But I will link my video that I made in 2018 but below. It does have a link to the pattern, okay? Um, so this is what the pattern looks like. You get the dog pattern and then these are the ears. That's all you need. So I've gone ahead, I've already cut out my, um, I've already cut out my fabric. I already got the ears. What did I do with the ears? Here they are. So this is the body. You need two pieces for the body and you need two pieces for the ears. You're gonna also need some polyfill and um, just your sewing machine, needle thread or whatever. I'm just using this cute pink, pink polka dotted fabric. I think I got it at Joann's. I've had it in my stash for a little while but I thought it would make a cute one. So let's get on over to the sewing machine and we're gonna get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make sure my pretty sides are together and I'm going to make, I'm gonna sew my, my ears. So you wanna make sure that everything is nice and nice and holding together here so nothing moves when you sew. So I'm not gonna pin it, I'm just gonna kind of hold things. And you want to start on one side of the ear. I like to start like, like leave an opening about right here. And I like to start and just go all the way around. So I'm gonna do about a quarter inch or less seam allowance. And I'm just going to, I've got a three stitch length is what I'm working with. My Singer Mono Quilter sewing machine. And of course, Guterman thread. So I'm gonna go ahead, give it a few stitches. I'm gonna get up here to where I am at the, this corner. I'm gonna use my down feature of my machine and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna gently go around the edge of my ears, holding it together, trying to keep everything nice and even. And I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna take off this clip. And I'm gonna sew all the way around, leaving that opening so I can flip them inside out. If you wanna use a little bit of uh, interfacing, you can. You don't have to though. 
And I'm going to keep going. And then I'm going to go on this last side. This is where I started. I'm going to go, I'm going to leave about maybe a two inch or a little less opening so I can turn these right side out. Okay, that looks about good. I'm going to go do a back stitch and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this turned right side out, give it a press, and then we'll do a tap stitch. Okay, so I am just going to trim off this thread right here. And I'm just going to start by grabbing the inside and just going ahead and turn this right side out. I do have people that tell me they enjoy my sewing videos. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I love to sew. I've just got so much I want to do. And this is one of the things on my list that I wanted to do. I start, thought about this before I left on my vacation. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to make some of these. And I think the little flowers will be cute. Because I usually put a bow around their neck. But I think the little flower is going to be cute. Okay, I'm in the middle here. So I've got to just work with it. Kind of pull it out. And... Once you get this out, just like this, I like to use a, like a trap stick, chopstick, or I'm just using the point of my scissors and just kind of make sure I get that all out nicely. I'm going to go on this side. And yeah, I think I'm gonna do, my goal is maybe 10 of these. Um, they're super cute when they're all done. They're easy to make. Doesn't take a lot of fabric. Takes about a little more than a quarter of a yard. Maybe, maybe about between quarter and half. Okay, so I've got this all out. I like to take my iron um, and give this a good press. Make sure I get those seams out. Oop, that was hot. I've had this on a minute, so it's a pretty hot iron there. Okay. Your ears do not have to be perfect, y'all. Just do the best you can. Some people thought that these were like auto. Remember back in the day, and this dates me a little bit, is autograph dogs. That's what they remind me of, is an autograph dog. If you want to make them in solid, solid uh, fabrics, if you want to do white or a pink or whatever color you want to do, and pair it with a pen, that would be good too. Actually, I might make a few like that. Okay, so I'm ironing this down really well. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take it back to your sewing machine. So all the way around, sewing up the hole, and you're just going to top stitch all the way around. Okay, so I'm going to put that to the side. And then we're going to start talking about this piece. Okay, and I'm going to top stitch that in a second. Okay, so what we're gonna do with this one, remember you cut two pieces of the pattern, and so I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put pretty sides together. Now this doesn't have like legs that open up. If you wanted to, you could probably make another piece and sew up a leg, make it where you have two legs, um, or four legs instead of just two, but it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be like a, it's just a stuffed animal and it's just just like a, a like an autograph dog okay I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to pin my pieces together now I'm gonna I'm going to top stitch my ears and then I will attach them down here on the top 
So let me go ahead and finish tying this up. And I've thought about not making my tail as long because the tail is the hardest part to stuff. So I thought about just cutting it a little shorter and you know, you could do what you want. It's your project. Okay. Okay. Now you want to make sure after you put your ears in, you're going to leave that opening down here so you can flip everything right side out. Okay. I'm going to go top stitch this really fast and then I'll show you how I'm going to insert it into my, into the head of the dog. So I have sewed a top stitch, sewed everything closed. What you need to do now is fold your little ears in half. And you're going to take your ears, and let me get over here by the head of the dog. You're gonna take the ears, and you're going to stick them down in here. You wanna make sure when you're sewing them that you don't sew the sew right here and sew them in. So you can have them like at a little bit of an angle. And then I'm just gonna pin it right here to hold them together. And I'm gonna pin this. Okay, so now you just wanna make sure everything's going to be staying in place. I'm gonna pin on the top and the bottom. If you're good at sewing and holding things together and not pinning, that's up to you. But I think for this one, we might need to sew and pin. So I'm gonna start over here and I'm gonna sew around and I'm gonna start on the bottom of, this is the bottom of the dog. Okay, let me turn it around. So this is the bottom of the dog. So I'm gonna leave about a two to three inch opening here on the bottom. Sorry about that y'all. I'm gonna leave about a two to three inch opening here on the bottom and that way I can turn it right side out. Let's get over to the sewing okay. machine. So I've already um, did my did my beginning stitch, my, my starting stitch. I'm using the down feature here so I can keep everything lined up and I'm just gonna sew gently going all the way around the dog, leaving that opening. And I'm gonna get over here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this pin. Make sure I'm trying to stay together as much as I can. I'm going to turn, follow my way around. Can you get over here? Okay, hold on, y'all. I'm fixing to have issues with my thread. A while ago, my thread broke and I had to start it again because it keeps getting stuck okay so now remember you've got your right here i can feel these ears okay i'm gonna sew up as close as i can and on a normal day i do so quite a bit faster i'm just trying to go slow for y'all there's those ears okay we want to make sure that i don't go over here and sew them sew them so i'm going to go ahead and kind of fold them up in there Actually, if you want to, just move them up. And I'm going to go over here. There's the edge. I'm going to turn. Here's the little nose. And the mouth area. Turning. I love making these because you can make them in so many prints and it's just so much fun. I made like one year, I think the first year I made like 10 or 15 for my craft fair and y'all people went nuts over these dogs. And um, so whenever I made, made, I made more the next year and I literally sold Sold, sold, sold my dogs. And then, you know, you kind of get tired of making the same thing. So that's why I didn't, haven't made them since. And I'll be honest, I haven't made a dog since 2019. My mama, um, when my mama, oopsie, look, I got a pull there. 
my mom, she was in the hospital and everything. And when she got out of the hospital, this is before she passed, but when she got out of the hospital, um, she, where goes my thread again, y'all? Let me fix that while I talk to you. Um, I need to fix this. Um, but anyway, my mom, I, she was like so sick. And one day we were going down with my sister-in-laws to go and visit her um, at their assisted living place. And yeah, so I went in and she was so proud. I brought it. She named her dog Pluto. But I got up that morning and I was just thinking about everything. And I just had so much on my mind. And so I decided to make her a dog. And I sewed one up before my husband even woke up that day. And I took it down. And I know this is weird, but whenever I... My mom went to heaven, and we had her funeral and said goodbye. Um, I sent Pluto with her. She named the dog Pluto. Pluto went with her in her casket. And I know this is kind of weird to talk about, but it's the truth. It's what happened. And that's the last time I think I've made dogs. So, this one's for you, Mama. Cause she loved it so much it just made her happy i made her one with big flowers on it and um yeah she loved it okay i'm gonna make sure i get my little tail get the pieces lined up really good because this is the hardest part to stuff the tail <laughs> and you kind of want the tail to stand up you know um my daughter has dachshunds her her dogs are gus and Jack and they are little they are sweet but boy they can tear things up Gus is like three and Jack is like one um they like like one time oh this is over many months but Gus and Jack literally ate the couch my luckily my daughter had purchased the warranty on their couch and um yeah luckily it covered anything even a dog eating your couch they would tear that couch up so now she's got a new couch and now they have a like a like a pen for them whenever they're gone so they can't go eat the couch they just i guess they get bored i don't know okay i'm on the last leg here now i'm gonna go up and leave that opening so i can Here's, here's where I began. So I'm going to stop. I think I'll stop right there. That's about a three, three inch opening. Okay. So now I'm just going to go ahead with this. Let's get over to my table. We're going to get this flipped inside out and we're going to get to stuffing. Okay. Here's the opening I left right here. So it's going to reach up in here and I'm going to get this flipped right, up, right side out. I'm gonna go over and start over here. And you can grab those ears and pull it, pull them through. Helps to kind of get you going here. See, these are very, this is a beginner friendly project. So, yes, easy to make, great attention getters at your craft fair. And uh, mine sold like hotcakes. Okay. Looks like that. Come on, looks like a bear, a bunny a second, for a second there. Okay, here's the tail. The tail is the part you gotta work with. I think, I'm tempted to make my tails a little bit shorter so they won't be so much work. Um, but for this one, we're gonna keep going. Cause I can cut off about two inches, it might help. Okay, I'm gonna grab my scissors and just gently go up in here and kind of push the tail out. Hope everybody's had a wonderful day. I worked from home today and um, I'm glad of I was able to um, get a video made on my lunch break today. Easy Christmas tree. I only have one of those. I won't be doing any more. I'm not going to go buy any more of the blanks. 
I think I'll have plenty. Okay, so I'm going over here, putting my scissors back up in here. So this is part of the head. You can see there's the ears. So I'm gonna gently use my scissors and kind of poke out where the nose is. And I just do it carefully. If you're worried about this, then use like a pokey tool or some kind of something else that's, but I try to just gently push these out. Okay, so there we go. Let me fix the feet. And, okay, I gotta fix this right here. Then your ears, they're gonna go over like this. So see, you've got your dog. Okay, I'm gonna go get some batting and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stuff it and stitch it close and we'll finish it up together. Okay, so I've got it stuffed. See how good it looks? So now I'm gonna just, just hand sew this opening closed. So I'm just gonna, I've got my needle and thread ready and I'm just going to sew it the best I can. Sew it up close. So, just gonna start at one end. And y'all, I'm not the best hand sewer, I'll be honest. But I'll do the best I can. Okay. I'm just going to start and just make my way down. And I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, so I got it stitched closed here. Looks cute, look at the little ears. Now I'm gonna do the eyes off camera, but I think I'll put, I might cut felt pieces and hot glue them on, or I might do wiggle eyes. But I'm gonna, you can just choose to do whatever you want. But I'm not gonna put the eyes right now. I can't even remember if I put eyes before. I, I can't remember. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, a simple, simple little, I'm using this ribbon. This is the brand light pink and white. I'm just going to cut, cut myself a piece and I am going to just tie this on. You don't have to be fancy. I'm going to tie it on. I'm going to, I think I'll tie a knot here. And let me, before I decide to cut, this is a clip. I can always clip it on and just cut these down. I like that. Okay, so let me cut my ribbon. Okay, let me make sure I try to get them around the same lengths. This one's kind of sticking up, so I'm going to poke it under. That way it'll, they'll hang down. And then I'm going to take my little clip. And like I said, you can do bows. You can decorate any way you want on this. I'm just going to use this, and I'm just going to slip that on. And there we go. There we go. Look at that, how sweet. I haven't made them in so long and I love it. I love it. I love the little bees on here. If I had a little bee, I'd hot glue one on. That would be very cute. See how the tail, I stuffed it really well so it stands up. But that's it, that's my dogs. So I'm going to possibly make, I'm gonna probably try to do like 10 of these. Um, they don't take me too long as you can see. Um, so I probably could make one and sew one. I could do like one in 45 minutes, everything start to finish. So I think that's what I will do. Um, but I think they're going to be darling. Now let's talk pricing for these. Um, I think I probably will do these for, let me think. I'm thinking $15, $15 will be my price for these. I think they're going to be so cute. I'm gonna be cute, add some little hearts on it. It'd be it's just anything. You could do Christmas print, you could do any print. 
um, they're just going to be simply darling. But I think I'm going to do a lot of, I'll do some boy, boy print ones. And because the little boys like these too. And um, yeah, I have a friend that she's coming to the craft fair. I'll have to make one in baby print. She might be interested. So anyway, that is it. I hope you guys like this and I hope you will give it a try. I will link my previous video for this down below and in the description box of that video is the pattern for this. So if you're interested, there you go. Anyway, have a great day. Love you guys and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.